You have agreed today to do mm. two, uh, two recipes, an eggplant caviar, since we can't afford caviar right. anymore, <laughs> and we can't get it. It's not a sustainable right. industry any longer. <clears throat> Uh, and um, eggplant caviar mm. served on a, pota a potato, potato blini. Blini. Exactly. So let's make the potato beans okay. first. First you start with, uh, we, we, we like Yukon Gold potatoes. Mm, so do I. We like Yukon Gold potatoes because... Cover them? Yes, cover them with water. <clears throat> and we're going we're gonna to bring it up to a, to a simmer, a gentle simmer. We always need to make sure that there's enough water. So an abundance of water is important because it takes a while to cook them. Of course, how long does that take? Depends on the size of the potato. Yeah. Um, but making sure that we have enough water. So this size potato, about how right. long? Um, but it'll probably take about 45 minutes. Okay. We want to be able to pierce it with a knife and have no resistance. Okay. So that's, that's an important okay. thing to remember. So piercing with a knife. And we cook them in their jackets so that the flesh stays dry. Yes. Because we want to be able to get our creme fraiche and our eggs in there. So what we're going to do, we have our potatoes. They're still warm. We want to work with them when they're warm. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. Do you want to press that while I peel sure. this one? Is that... He gives me the hard job. I give job. her the hard job. But this is the best of the ricers. Oh, I it's think. an amazing ricer. Mm, look at that. Comes out almost like rice. And that's that's what it's called, called a ricer, ricer, right? Yeah. yeah. I love them. They're easy to clean. They're available. You can pick them up. They're not very expensive. Um, oh, and now they I really see. do the job. And then Thomas pointed out a little thing of paper. I know yeah, you're going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to show you here know, in a second. I know, already, yeah, you I already. Are, yeah, because you're, you're, you're dialed in. You know, I had in. a German living next door, Mr. Mouse. Uh -huh. And Mr. Mouse used a ricer for his cartoffel cloths. Uh -huh. You, of course, right? So what we're going to do here is I always put a piece of... When the last potato that I put through, I put the potato yes. through the... the oh, the, definitely. It gets all the, the rest out. The paper in there, which helps to push all of the potato out. Exactly. Exactly. I have to that. be really strong, strong to do this ricing. Right. Well done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, pretty much all of yeah. it, right? And, and, and I, I use these ricers also when we're making uh, puree of potatoes or mashed potatoes. What um, a good idea. It's also for the ricer. So really good mm. Now we're going to get nine ounces... Of, of, of our rice potatoes. And when potatoes. you're working with Thomas's book, get out your scale, get your kitchen scale. scale. Yeah, yes. Very important. So nine ounces. Mm -hmm. Almost there. And these perfect little... Uh, okay, so nine okay. ounces. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and season that with some white pepper. Some salt. We're going to go ahead and add our flour. Two tablespoons, Two tablespoons of flour. Two tablespoons of flour. Let me share it with you. And we're going to add our oh, eggs. eggs. one at a time. Yeah. We're going to mix it all in. So this is almost like a kartoffel cloth, isn't it? <laughs> it, it is. Yeah, except they way. would be boiled, and this right. is going to be making right. pancakes. We're not, go ahead and add that. Okay. Add the creme fraiche. So, yeah, so now, I, depending on how dry the potatoes are, because it's an you know, agricultural product, and we don't know sometimes mm -hmm. the different years and seasons how much moisture is going to be. Two tablespoons creme fraiche. So we always have some extra, because we want to get this to a little I love thicker your than the... Uh, than, the, than a pancake batter. Yeah, this is the all-clad griddle. It's just really great. So go ahead and add about half of that creme fraiche for me. I'll add the other egg yolk. So Can you imagine everything. being the sous chef of Thomas Fuller? It's very exciting. A little more creme fraiche. I think we're gonna use it all. So no milk. Nope. Well, just you could use milk if you wanted to. Or cream. But the creme fraiche gives it such a good taste right. with the potato, right? And then that's it. And we're just gonna go ahead and spoon them out onto our griddle. Mm. And you can make them any size you want. You know, see, we're doing little bite size, but you can make them bigger, you can make them oh, smaller. so beautiful. Okay. Is that hot enough? Yep, 350, 350 degrees. degrees. Again, this all-clad griddle is just so, so oh, amazing. This is the new and, fantastic right. griddle. I love it. And then what you can do is make them ahead of time, you know, half an hour, an right. hour, and then just keep them in a warm oven so you can reheat them, and then mm. we're going to show you what to do mm. with them. I oh, they're so after. good. They're like yeah. milky. Now, I promised that Thomas was going to make something, a, a kind of uh, caviar, uh, and this is eggplant caviar. Eggplant, one of my favorite dishes. Uh, and, and this, you know, I love to use eggplant caviar in a number of different ways, um, but today we're going to use it on the blini as a garnish, and certainly the one thing I like about potatoes and the blinis is that they become a vehicle for other flavors. So we've got our eggplant here, and I'm just going to score it. What we want to do, again, the same thing about our potato is to have them as dry as possible, the same thing with the eggplant. We want to remove as much moisture as we possibly can. Try salt? So, which a little bit of salt. Uh, we want to remove, remove that moisture so we can get more of the olive oil in there. So we're going to, yeah, just salt that. We're going to put it uh, cut side down. Cut side down. Oh, okay. Right? One. And the salt's going to help, of course, to uh, pull that, that, mo that water out. And then we'll just put another piece of parchment paper on top. And then we're going to press that with something that's heavy. In this case, we have a skillet with yes. some, 
some tomatoes. Cans. Oh, yeah, these cans of tomatoes, really. <laughs> and how long do you leave that? Well, about an hour. Okay. okay. You'll see the moisture come out of that. And then we're going to, to rinse it off, dry it, and then face down in the oven, 350 degrees for about roast an hour. Roast it until it looks like this. Right. Now, you can't roast it too much. The, the more it's roasted, of course, the more flavor that you're going to get out of it, the more unique flavor you get out of it. So we can just scoop out the, the meat mm. of the eggplant. See that? So it's so easy. Right. Yes. We're going to put that in cheesecloth here. Or it could be just a strainer if you don't have cheesecloth. We can just use a mesh strainer. But again, what we want to be able to do is get more of that moisture out there. You can see that water that's just oh, settled yes. in there. And we'll leave that for an hour, an hour and a half, two hours. And you can see how much more water mm. we've pulled out oh, of wow. there. Wow. And, and, and again, we want to pull out as much water as we possibly can. I like can. the skin. Yeah, it's so good, especially oh. when it's roasted like that. Yes. So then to make our mm, eggplant so caviar. Good. And you see all that water, more water we've oh, gotten yes. out of there. And did you press too? No, we didn't press it, no. just letting it sit. The gravity's gonna do all the okay. work for us. And then we're gonna take our dried, roasted eggplant. You can see how, how dry that mm, is now. Amazing. And we're gonna add a, put it just in our, our little food processor here. Okay. And some people like to put anchovies in here. So it's really up to you and your flavor profile. But why don't you go ahead and put the garlic. Okay. And we have some minced so garlic. So like a quarter of a teaspoon quarter of, of a garlic. Teaspoon. More or less or none. Half you know, a teaspoon of Dijon, Dijon mustard. mustard. And, and these just help enhance that flavor. Okay, they're kind of back notes to, the, to, the, to yeah. the flavor of the eggplant. And then, of course, our wonderful olive oil there. Oh, boy, look at this right. beautiful. So we'll go ahead and you can just go ahead and mm. start adding that. How much? Oh, we're gonna, we want to we get it so that it's nice and smooth. So it's emul we're, we're emulsifying the eggplant with the oil. Looks good. good. Now we'll, we'll check for seasoning. We'll probably put a little bit of salt in there, okay? Mm -hmm. And pepper. And that's really what eggplant caviar is. Now this this is something that you can make. Uh, again, it's a, it's a, it acts as a great condiment. Mm, so you good. can make it, leave it in your refrigerator for up to a week and use it in different ways. You can you can thin it out even more with more olive oil and use it as a sauce mm -hmm. or, or a dressing for, for a salad, oh, things yeah, like this. Yeah, just on so, a panini. Yeah. Mm. So here we have, as we said, we have our you like that. We mm. have our, <laughs> our blinis, which we've done here, okay? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and... Now, Thomas, sprinkle the blinis with salt as they were cooking. So that adds another... Um, right, just, a, yeah. just gives a little more uh, flavor to it. So we have our blinis on our board. I have, I've got prepared... So this is like a nice little first course, too. Exactly, yeah. it could be. We have prepared four little, little a little salad of a smoked now white fish this. here, He's smoked sturgeon. a little canal. And a canal is the shape of a of an egg, if you will, okay? A little bit of chopped little scallions on there. I've got some roasted uh, peppers, peppers here, sweet peppers, uh, yellow and red so with some shallots. So you use little spoons like that. Yeah, with some shallots and some chives, a little shrivel on top. These are also and these very are, these nice are, hors d'oeuvre. Exactly, and, they're, and they're, you can pass them, people can pick them up, and a little, our little eggplant. So, there. And then of course, just, I mean, just some simple creme fraiche or sour cream mm -hmm. if you want. 